There are two different users on this planet, a home user and a business user. For business users, we highly recommend that you leave your machines on at night. Why? Because I don't know about you, but if you don't, come Tuesday morning when Microsoft has just released all their latest updates and you turn the machine on and it goes na 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 na. And then it says, ah, oh, now we've got to do the update. So you go and have a coffee, you come back. Updates have just finished, it says reboot. And then guess what? It says now it's got to do more updates. So you go and have a tea this time. You come back and then hopefully by 11 a.m. all the updates should be done. And that's why as business users, you should leave your machines on at night. For home users, I recommend you shut the computer down at night time because number one, it'll save electricity. And two, you'll make sure your kids are not playing all night long. But more importantly, when the machine then is turned on over the weekend or in the evening, please make sure that when it pops up to do all the updates for Windows that you say yes. It's going to take time, but to keep that machine secure, you must do the updates. And then of course, if you're using a Mac, you wouldn't have to worry about any of this stuff. If you left a computer running all year long, it'll cost you maybe 20 pounds a year in electricity. If you think about you've got 20, 30, 50 staff, and now they come in in the morning and now they have to turn their PC on and they have to wait probably two, three minutes before the machine gets to a place where they can even press the control or delete screen. That's gonna be a lot more time wasted and a lot more extra coffee to buy than paying 20 quid. The average hard drive sitting in a three old machine, for instance, is designed to run for 50,000 hours. I worked it out, that's 7.7 .7 years. I hope that you replace your machines before 7.7 .7 years. So don't worry about leaving the machines on.